Hi guys, well in today's video we are doing a very quick and simple look to get us out the door and this was the look I was able to achieve very minimal makeup. That's the key goal for today's video. So if you want to see the products I used and all of that good stuff, make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys. Alright guys, I'm going to start off with my e.l.f. Cookies and Dream and my MAC Matte Studio Fix Primer. Today's look is going to be really quick, really simple, straight to the point. No chaser. We trying to get in this and out this. And I've been doing this little routine for the last probably five days. <laughs> very minimal. Very, very minimal. So I'll start off with primer because, as you know, I always have to prime, no matter what. It doesn't, you know, I have to prime. And then we're just using concealer to Not even any paint pot. That's how quick this look is going to be. <laughs> so priming. Eyebrows are done, of course. I did that. I'm going to take my Lancome Tito Concealer in 495. That's what I'm using as foundation today. Full coverage, but lightweight. I wore this the other day for probably like 12 or so hours. And... At the end of the night, my skin still looked like skin and breathable. I also put it right here for any darkness I have because we're still going to highlight with it. But, uh, I mean, highlight with another concealer. But, you know, you have to, you can't just go on like darkness with a light concealer. Like you have to conceal it first. I hope it makes sense. Spray and let's blend. Yeah, I did this one day and I'm like, oh, okay. Did it the other day. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I was finished. <laughs> I'm like, that's the best feeling ever. You know, some days you feel like makeup, some days you don't. Especially the weather is changing here, so it's getting kind of cooler. So that has thrown me off. <laughs> you know, I don't like to be cold, so I'm like, oh no, it's gotten cold. Okay, so y'all yeah, see the little bit of coverage that that concealer has given me. Just a little bit of coverage that I need. I'm going to go right back with this. I think I missed Right there. We're just looking for minimum coverage, <laughs> minimum effort. That's it. Okay. And then I'm going to take 460, which is a little highlight shade, not a very bright one. And we're just doing right here under the eyes we're not even doing like the center of the forehead the chin none of that because we ain't got time for that. at this point we just want to look awake <laughs> and laugh same brush no fuss <laughs> and just blend that underneath the eye give us a little bit of highlight And this just helps so that my skin doesn't look flat. All right. 
and we take in RM, RCMA, RCMA no color powder and this is what we're going to set the entire face with everything Even though the concealer is somewhat self-setting, like I don't feel afraid to wear it alone without setting it, I'm going to work. We don't need no mishaps, so that's why you see me setting it. Good, good. A little bit of my Juvia's Place Deep Dark Bronzer. Mix the two shades, bronze up the face, no cream bronzer today, just some powder bronzer. Give the face some shape. Y'all been enjoying Vlogtober lately? I do a video every day, but I don't think mine is like Vlogtober. But it's a video every day. <laughs> Up in circular motions. Make sure I catch my hairline. my concealer brush on the edges okay and I need some liquid liner as you can see I don't have any shadow or anything just take my powder brush sponge go over my lid or whatever powder is left so that it isn't um, oily. Take some of my NYX Vivid Matte. Do a, not a wing. It's going to be like a slight line. Mm -hmm. Y'all see it? Because we're putting on falsies. I got the like smallest falsies ever. That they almost look like natural lashes, like my lashes, but a little bit fuller. Everyday lashes. Okay, and I'm going to throw on a little bit of mascara, Lancome Big Masseur Mascara. So both of these can dry together. And I'm going to take some of my MAC Chestnut to line my lips with because brown is the most simplest thing. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna take a little bit of my Juvia's Place uh, Minis Chocolate thing. I'm gonna take this shade right here. And that's what we're just gonna swing it in the crease. It's a Jaclyn Hill brush. I wish I could find like more of these brushes at TJ Maxx. I either got it from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And I love her brushes for Morphe. So just swing that in the crease. Not so much the lid. If you happen to get something on the lid, that's absolutely fine. Because this isn't a perfect look. This is a very minimum, basic look with little effort. Because I know some of my girls that uh, watch me, you know, y'all just want to do as less as possible some days. And I get it because as you can see, I'm like that too some days. <laughs> I don't want to do all that. I just need to get in and get out and still look like... I put forth an effort, you know what I mean? And brown for me, I mean, I'm, I'm worried sure you could do any color here, depending on, you know, how you're feeling that day. If you're feeling like purple, if you're feeling like anything, <laughs> green, <laughs> you know, right here, if you just want to add a little pizzazz to your look, perfectly fine. I have no idea where my small mirror is and it's killing me. Oh, see that I got on? I get on. A liner. No, you know how you get liner right there. All uh, on the lid. Let's see. Just take your sponge and wipe it off. Not on that one. <laughs> but I had it all over that one. And just blend out the edges. Yep. Smoky, but not smoky. I'm going to take the light shade and I'll put that underneath my brow bone. I'm feeling like that today. Just a little bit. That's what I'm feeling like. And I don't even, I didn't even like conceal underneath my brow with no concealer or nothing today. I just lightly filled them in. Yeah. Okay. And that's the way this powder, same concealer brush. I think I'm going to put, I didn't do this all week, but I'm going to take the dark brown shade, smoke out my lower lash line. All right, let me throw on the lashes and then we'll come back with a lip. Okay, these tweezers right here have absolutely saved my eyelash game. Mama brought these from me when we went to the beauty supply store about two or so months ago and I could never find them, but they were in the bottom of my purse and I finally found them. So today, uh, these are the lashes look. They're from Shein. I'm going to link them. If I don't, just say, hey, Nana, link the lashes. Favorite, favorite lashes because they are not overly dramatic. They're simple every day. And what I cut probably this much off, like I cut the tail end off, like right there. Like right there, I cut the tail end off. 
so that I don't have that flying wispy so much wispy look and they're perfect so we're going to put them on today together i only use the duo glue which is i don't know where is that oh is that there no oh here it is in the green one that's the only one i ever use it's this one So let's put them on. And I'm quite sure that the way I put them on with these tweezers is not how it's intended to use the tweezers, but it works for me. Like I can get like really close to my lash line with these tweezers. So I look down, of course, pop it in the middle, as close in the middle as I can. I do the inner first. I know some people like to do their inner last, like place the inner down last, but I do the inner first because that's the part I have the most problem with lifting. If it's going to lift on me, it's usually the inner part. So I just take it, fan it a little bit because it's been sitting now probably like two minutes, the glue has. And put it as close to my lash line. That's what the liner helps with. It helps with uh, placing your lashes. For me, it does. And then put, place it. <laughs> I love these tweezers. Like, I've been using them to apply lashes. I've been using these like crazy. And then I take it. I hope y'all can see me. Because I can't really explain and I pinch the lash with my lash to make sure I've you see I let it sit down there for a minute before I pinch you want to make sure it's dry as possible and this is my everyday lash I love these lashes. Like I say, I'm going to link them. But if I don't, because y'all know how I do, <laughs> then drop down and let me know. Say, not to link their lashes if you like everyday lashes. And I think these were like from Shein. They were like maybe like $4 for like 12 or something like that. I love these lashes. As a matter of fact, <laughs> before I put this video out, because I know how my buddies do, I'm going to make sure I order me at least like five pair. And then that way y'all can get the rest. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the type of person where a lash will last me, like I can uh, get a lash on, let's say Monday, starting the work week for Monday, and then that'll last me the whole week. So I use one pair of lashes for a week, you know what I mean? So yeah. For lipstick, I think I want to use my Danessa Myrick Pigment in number seven. Don't ask me why. I just want a nude lip. This can be used for eyes cheeks lips whatever pigment you want to use it for it can be used for that i'm gonna throw some on the box i don't feel like putting it on the back of my hand take a little brush and let's see yeah just oh pretty I don't know why I get so happy <laughs> when I find something new in my stash. Nude, yes it is. No. Yeah, great. Take this eyeshadow brush, make sure everything is as blended as it can get. Blend that front part into the inner eyebrow. Like the front part of the thing. Let's see. And now we need a little gloss. Because sometimes I'm mad. For most time I'm glossy. So I just need a clear gloss for now. And which I can never find one. 
So you know what happens when Nana can't find a clear gloss. Oh no, I could use the about face. The about face and dare to bear. And we, I use it to basically put on the lip liner, not in the on the middle. We just put some. On the lip liner. Yeah. And we got something. <laughs> and a chocolatey, chocolate lip. Mm. And a chocolate lip. Leave it alone, Nana. I'll see how I feel once I put on my clothes. I'll be back. All right, guys. We made it back to the completed concealer. Very minimal makeup look. And this is how... Why is my chair so far down? And this is how the look turned out. Very effortless. I would say that this look could take like 10 minutes for you to do. And then you can get out the door. But, uh, yeah. So... A little glow right there, but yeah, I love this. Like I said, I did this look for the last like five or so days, and I've been quite fine with it. <laughs> some days I want to go overboard, some days I just want to be minimum, and this has been a minimum week. So, if you enjoyed, make sure you drop down and let me know what are your um key things to do when you want to do a look to make it really fast and you don't want to think about it drop down and let me know what you do but i'm happy in that my long comb concealer you know it hooks me up every time so yeah if you enjoyed today's video please make sure you like share comment and subscribe and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one bye guys